Hi, this is Ria, and I'm with the Metro CSG. With our current setup now, like remote working, there are a lot of instances that we need to collaborate real time. And sometimes we need our colleague to need access to our inbox or a subfolder in our Outlook instead of individually sending files or emails to your colleagues, especially to your teams, you can do shortcut and save time and resources through inbox folder sharing. For instance, if you need your colleague to access your email while you're out of the office, or there are instances that you have time difference with your colleague, inbox folder sharing is a great help so that your team can access and continue to do their work or their tasks while allowing limited permission to your inbox folder to make it more secured and productive. Now, let me show you how to do inbox folder sharing. First, you have to prepare your folder. Or for this vlog, we will make a test folder that I can share to my colleague. So let's name it as test folder for vlogs. And let's transfer all the emails that I want to put in that inbox folder. This way, I don't have to send individually all of the emails that I want my colleagues to have access to. Instead, I can just drag and drop it to the folder, inbox folder, that I can give permissions to my teams. To give permission, click on the folder and do right click, choose permissions, and click on the plus sign button where you can give access to your colleague. Say, for example, I want to choose a join. And then you have an option to choose the type of permissions you want them to have, whether reviewer or author. And then you also have an option to give them the type of permission they have in terms of reading all the emails or deleting that. Just check or uncheck and then click OK. So add subfolders in your inbox folder. And you can also give permissions to each subfolders that you have. You can also add or delete people from each subfolders, whether one person has access on subfolder A or on subfolder B, depending on what you need. Now, let us try to do two subfolders for this test folder inbox. And I have option to add or delete people. If you want to delete, just click on the email list or the name and then choose the delete sign and then click OK. That's it. Hope you were able to find how useful inbox folder sharing is and how it helps you in your productivity and collaboration, especially for your asynchronous tasks. And also it is very secured and it helps you collaborate real time. For more collaboration and productivity tips, like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.